What up, bro players? Welcome back to Bro Play Games. Today, I wanted to jump on and do a quick little video of a little problem that I solved. The problem I had was with the Elgato HD 60 Pro game capture card. The way the card is, is that on the back of the card, it has a HDMI in and an HDMI out. Now the out um, connects to your TV that you want to display what you're playing and the N is for whatever console you're using to record. The issue I have is I currently have four gaming consoles that I use. Um, I have the Xbox 360, I have the Xbox One X, PS4, and the Nintendo Switch. So without this device that I bought, um, I would have to pull out my PC, unhook whatever system I wasn't using and, and plug in the system I want to currently record on, which becomes a pain in the ass if you like to record on multiple systems like I do. So the device that I bought is, it's an HDMI switch. Uh, so I'm, let me just change the camera view and show you what it looks like. Now you can currently see the manufacturer is Dinger. Uh, it's HDMI switch four in, one out support for 4K at 30 Hertz and picture in picture and 3d the the device is relatively cheap uh, i think i paid like 24 dollars. let me just show you what it does real quick it comes with a little remote if you see it here you see i have it labeled for each of my systems so it's currently on the xbox one so if i wanted to so let's say record on the 360 um, i would hit the number two button on the remote and if you see the yeah, it's kind of hard to see the, the the light change here then it changed to here uh, same goes for if I want to record on my uh, Nintendo switch it will change again I just press the button it changes to that and if I want to record on my ps4 press the button it switched to my ps4 what I'm gonna do let me switch back to my full all right so what I'm gonna do is down below I'm gonna put a link to this device if you come into the same issues that I did it's only like $25, I believe I paid. So that's, you know, that's, that's really nothing, you know, and it, it's a good purchase because it helps a lot. Cause like I said, I don't want to have to pull out my PC, unplug one of my systems, plug the other system back in, push my PC back in and all this other crap. So this eliminates all of that. And I believe they do have more. So say if you had like, you know, I named my four systems. Say you had like a, uh, like a PS3 or the OG Xbox or, whatever some of the older systems maybe like a nintendo or a genesis or ps1 um you can get maybe it'll be like a seven in one out type of device and it's been working fine for me now because it just automatically switches and a lot of times what it does too i didn't notice until like last night so say like if i none of the systems are on it's currently sitting on on the number one let me switch back to it okay let me switch back to it see if i don't know if you can see it but you can kind of see it's lit up on the number one. So if I turned on my 360, let me turn it on for you real quick. See how it automatically switched to the second lane? Yeah. So it automatically switched to the second lane. Can't really see it, but it automatically, oh, there we go. So you see it automatically switched to the number two, which is my 360. So if I turn that off, see that? So now if I turn on my PS4, it should switch to the number four, which is this one right here. Let me see. It does it here. See, so it switched over to number four. So it automatically detects when you turn on a source, which is cool. And that's about it. Or also there's a button on here. If, if like say if the, the, the battery and the remote died, you just press that button, it'll switch between the sources. All right, and the same goes for the switch. My switch is up high, so I'm not gonna show you that it'll automatically switch, but you saw that it switches automatically when you turn on the uh, device. So let me switch back to my full. All right, so that's it. That's all I want to do is, is a problem that I ran into that I didn't expect when I got it. I don't know why I didn't think of that because I did do a little research on the Elgato HD60 Pro Capture Card and I didn't even notice that, you know, the, there's, there's only a one in HDMI for, for a console. So that's it. Uh, I think that's all I had to say. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Yeah, that's it. Like I said, I wanted to jump on real quick and show you that I solved, or let you know that I solved the problem that I ran into, that if you're a gamer like me, if you get the, the, the capture card, you'll run into the same issue, especially when your PC is tucked into like a, 
a little cabinet and you don't have to pull it out to get to the back of it. See you in the next video. I'm Black Lion. This is Bro Play Games and Black Lion out.